Alice is a series of studies in patients with psoriatic arthritis using a new medication, a premolast. A premolast is a phosphodiesterase inhibitor. It's a pill given twice a day, and the hope is that it can modulate the inflammation that is inherent in patients with psoriatic arthritis. At this meeting, I presented one-year data from PALACE-1. This is a study of a premolast in patients with psoriatic arthritis. They were randomized to receive treatment with two different doses of a premolast or placebo. Previously, we showed the data, revealing that there's efficacy in both the joint manifestations, the signs and symptoms of arthritis, mm -hmm. also efficacy in terms of the skin, and improvement in functional status. This is a longer term follow-up. This follows the patients out now through a year. And it's important in diseases that are chronic, such as psoriatic arthritis, the longer data we have, the better, because mm -hmm. our patients will often be on medications for a longer period of time. So it was important for us to show, as we did with this data, that the response can be sustained looking out through a year of continued treatment one of the notable aspects of this particular medication is that its safety and tolerability profiles seem to be quite good. The class of phosphodiesterase inhibitors, of which Premolast is one, have some gastrointestinal adverse events. Mm -hmm. These tend to occur early during the initiation of therapy, and indeed during the latter part, the 6 to 12 months that we presented here at ULAR, there was much less of an issue with gastrointestinal toxicity. Also, as far as laboratory tests abnormalities, many times we worry about the medications we use for our patients causing liver problems right. or kidney problems or blood cell count changes. With this medication, it doesn't seem like there's much of a signal with anything. Mm -hmm. And it may well be that laboratory monitoring for safety is not specifically required with the use of this medicine. And so, can we go on to PALIS-3 then? PALIS-3 was uh, a, another study, similar in design, a few differences. The 24-week data were presented here, and were much in line with what we saw in PALIS-1, mm -hmm. and that was the signs and symptoms of arthritis improvement, improvement in the skin, and overall the same safety and tolerability profile. Premolis is not approved. Uh, it is under study. It's under study, actually, in psoriatic arthritis, in skin psoriasis, there's a separate series of programs that the sponsor has. It's also under study in a diverse range of some other immune conditions, mm -hmm. rheumatoid arthritis, Bichette's disease, and ankylosing spondylitis. But certainly the psoriatic arthritis and psoriasis programs are the furthest out ahead. And so any prediction on that, uh, on that drug's um, regulatory pathway? When, when might we see it? Well, I think the, the, the sponsor, I believe, certainly is planning to submit. Uh, I think they're planning to submit uh, this year mm -hmm. and um, hopefully as a clinical rheumatologist I look forward to having many more choices for my patients. So uh, hopefully based on the positive information now and learning more from these studies as we get more information, uh, I hope that we can see more drugs like this available to us in the clinic.